you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome thank you so much for joining me my name is Tosa Nimapena happy 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 new year I hope you guys rang in the new year in great spirits and uh, you had all the fun you could have in December like I was in bed and then I woke up said a little prayer I went outside my we get my crigetti and then I went back to bed like that's how I ring it in I used to go to church but now I don't go to church anymore I just really like being home with my family during that time so I feel a bit like I feel a bit awkward sitting in front of the camera right now I haven't done this in I think almost a month in over a month actually um, the second week of December I you know I filmed a lot of videos hoping that they would take me through the entire festive season but watching them back when i was um editing them it just i didn't look myself i didn't feel myself even when i was speaking i just was not myself and i didn't want to put out content like that so i was really just working on myself getting back to me my comfortable you know um spirited hopeful faithful me and um, I feel that way and that's why I'm filming again. I hope you guys have had a good um, rest over the festive season and those that are back at work, back in school, I really hope the new year brings nothing but joy, success, peace, a lot of lessons and it's not too hard but even if it's too hard that you just power through it all. Um, uh, this brings me back to you know today's topic. I really didn't want to go in hard on my first day back at work. I just wanted to wish you guys well. Um, everything that you've been through in the past year, I think by the time the year ended last year, like towards the end of the year, a lot of people were feeling very beat down, a lot of people were very discouraged, a lot of people were, you know, counting their failures, their disappointments. And um, personally for me, you know, as you know, uh, my family had a rough year last year and we wanted to spend the holidays regrouping ourselves and we did exactly that. I only went out, like I only went away for a weekend with my friends and the entire December, I was literally at home, woke up, cleaned the house, had a drink, had breakfast, and we would all just sit and look at each other and bask in each other's love. And um, that's what we needed after the year we had. So going back to what I wanted to talk about, um, when the year is about to end, a lot of people feel what we call, you know, a burnout end year burnout whether you're at school you're at work even when you're sitting at home not working you really do feel beat down because you think of all the things that you didn't accomplish you think of all the things that you failed to accomplish in a way that you wanted to accomplish them you think of how your life has been in the past five years and how you've not made any changes or at work you did not get that position you wanted or you didn't put your you know your yourself up forward the way that you wanted so it's a lot of those things some people think of oh well it's already you know year end 2019 and i'm still not married i still haven't had kids so it's a lot of things that goes on in our heads and in our souls and we're just so tired of everything you're just irritable and you're just so sad and you want to rest or you just want to leave it all up to god and and pray about it and just enjoy your december without thinking about anything um look everything that you went through has a reason i don't know the reason for mine trust me i'm saying this because i'm encouraging myself while i'm encouraging you every single thing that you go through in your life has a purpose it serves a purpose you might not see the purpose now but you'll see the bigger picture as you grow things that you didn't understand when you were 18 i bet you right now at 23 25 26 30 you understand back better so um don't beat yourself up about it lessons that you had to learn make sure that you learn and you etch them in your heart and in your head so you don't go through the same thing over and over and over again or when it comes up you know how to deal with it failures take them as a lesson there's something that you did there that wasn't quite it something that you didn't have to do you put in a particle that wasn't supposed to be there your calculations weren't proper there is always something you can do to better yourself and sometimes I know people say that God does not say no he says yes not right now or not this maybe change direction so 
take time to assess yourself you know take time to think about what you want and how you can attain it and um find find a way i'm still trying to find my way like i'm literally trying to find my way every day but the one thing i can tell you with myself is there are a lot of things that I've, i'm not doing that i've not accomplished but i know that um every single day i am working on myself most importantly, I work on myself, even when I've not gotten the job that I wanted, or I've not been able to get to a thousand subscribers or anything like that. I'm always literally working on myself for when the time comes, because you never know, you never know when it's going to happen, but when it happens, you need to be prepared for it. So while you can do things and prepare yourself and you try to do things outside to prepare for all the opportunities, never, you will never, ever, 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 ever go wrong with working on yourself when you don't know what else to do. So work on yourself, pray hard, find yourself, find the things that you like about you, things you don't like. If you can change it, find ways to change it. If it's physical, CC, love yourself. Oh, now it's a D. Love yourself. But um, that's really what I wanted to talk about today. And to tell you guys, I want to say let go of heartbreak and disappointments and failures. But all the lessons that you had to learn from all of those things, keep them in your heart and then get over the emotional um, effect of that particular thing or how your ego was bruised. The, the ego bruises very easily and it's it's hard to look past it when, when you've been disappointed or embarrassed or just feel some type of way about it, but um, feel it all. If you're disappointed, you were disappointed about a failure or, you know, not having reached a certain goal or not having gotten what you wanted, either from yourself or from, from somebody else, work on yourself, forgive yourself, and then cry, right? I don't cry. Like, I thought I cried too, but last year I cried. I cried a lot last year but you know just allow yourself to feel all those emotions if you're sad allow yourself to feel sad if there are people you can talk to about it talk to those people if you feel like those people are telling you you're throwing yourself a pity party move away from those people and find somebody else or find a different outlet to heal yourself because when you're down when you're done and out you need to feel the emotion of being done and out and then you get up so allow yourself to feel it don't be so consumed with trying to portray this perfect life because it's not there you know, when you're sad, you're allowed to cry. When you're angry, you're allowed to be angry and cry. When you're frustrated, feel it all and then get up. Because the most important thing is not going down. It'll hurt when you go down. It'll hurt when you're down. But cry while trying to get yourself back up. Personally, for me, like I said, after the year that I had, I knew I needed to find something to help me come up again and um, before I could look at my friends or before I could look at my sister or my mom or my parents or anybody else to help me I needed to I needed to dig down deep inside and find that hopeful person and that faithful person in me that wanted to fight I needed to find the will to fight again so what I did is I went back to the Bible I went back to the Bible and I read two scriptures those were scriptures I read every single night before I shut my eyes closed to sleep. Um, that was 1 Corinthians chapter 13, where they speak about love. And then I also read um, Proverbs 3 from verse 10 until 31, where they speak about the capable wife. So um, these are qualities that I want for myself. These are qualities of the type of person that I want to be when I grow up. So I wanted to etch it in my heart and in my soul that this is what I'm after. This is who I deserve to be. This is who I want to be for myself before I am, before, before I am for my parents or for my future part of anybody else. I wanted to be that. And with the love part, I wanted to, to resemble that. I wanted to be love. I wanted to resemble love to other people and in everything that I did I wanted people to see the love like that so I was tired when the year ended like I was really tired I was frustrated by every single thing every little thing frustrated me so I needed to go back to the point to my core in understanding that everything that I do everything that I am everything that has my name attached to it it starts with that that love it is patient it is kind it does not hold grudges I needed to remind myself of that and I read it every single night without fail twice on a Sunday I read you guys I I it, it helped me 
it helped me because I eventually came out of that rut and I was able to feel like I was strong enough to you know fix the relationships around me to fix myself to start again to fight and to getting what i wanted and that's what i wish for you if you're not christian or you don't believe in the bible i don't look at the bible as a christian only thing for me it's just a book of guidance like ultimately it's the book of guidance and foundation for me so um if you're christian then go for it if you're not christian and you believe in but you believe in god you can read it but find anything that will serve to encourage you, serve to remind you of who you are and what you're capable of and let that thing encourage you until you are strong enough to encourage yourself, until you're strong enough to power through, until you're strong enough to, to get out of that sadness. And um, trust me, once you've allowed yourself to mourn, you need to mourn when you're sad and you're crying, you are mourning, you're in a mourning period of some sort. Allow yourself to feel all those emotions because boiling them up is only going to get you deeper into the the well of depression so allow yourself to be sad when you're sad there are people around you who will always be there to support you lean on to those people and if they're tired find somebody else if not go down on your knees and pray and find reading material that's going to help you out of there until you are ready to fight for your life because um life is fighting i read uh it was a tweet i'm not sure if it was a tweet or a post on instagram but it was in a meme form and it says so what it definitely what it, it it says is that translating it is in life you need courage and you know you need to be stubborn yeah you need to be stubborn and you need courage in life to succeed at anything so you will go down a hundred times but if you can't just if you tell yourself no i want to go down three times sweetheart you need to power through it all and that's all i've got to say today i hope this video is clear um i took my glasses off because I, I i just wanted this look so if it's a little blurry it's blurry you'll take it as it is i'm not going to refilm this because i feel like i dropped some gems but yeah you guys i hope the rest of the year brings you guys wholesomeness and like fulfillment and and genuine joy and genuine success and that you guys are filled with so much love and you're surrounded by love and protection and um i hope you seek to do good for yourself and for those around you and the strangers around you but until my next video get the subscribers up thank you for watching please tell your friends and their cousins and their friends to subscribe to my channel and join the little family that we're trying to build i will see you guys next time bye honey Wait, not encouraged. Bye, honey.